Tony D and Little Jones asleep on the couch, and this is a screenwriter's rant for Troll, a Netflix, a Norwegian Netflix movie about a troll who's sort of like Godzilla in this movie. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Horror in South Jersey. It's The Pineys, books 1 through 10, available at Amazon.com. Don't forget, Kindle Unlimited is free. This is the mountain the troll climbs out of and starts to run amok. And I'm happy to say they actually show you the troll in the trailer, which is exactly what they should do. And uh, the main character appears to be this archaeologist who, I guess, has found some evidence of a troll. Here's a giant footprint. And then, uh, of course, everybody laughs at her until one time they go out in the field and they, they stumble upon the troll. He just he was lying there and he looking like part of the mountain and they had to kill the troll and the whole military's called out. Looks pretty cool. Looks pretty cool. He's super big, smashes things, um, you know, just runs amok and there's car chases here. Here's the troll smashing a bridge that they're uh, trying to run across. Yeah, it looks like fun. I uh, I got a request to do uh, a movie called uh, Sadar Udan or U Udar, which was a Indian uh, movie about an assassin, but it came out last year. I can't do that one; it's too old. This movie is coming out now, December first, and uh, as I've always said, Netflix seems to pick up some of the better foreign movies. Now it is subtitled, but uh, you know it's kind of fun. It, it's kind of got an American sort of feel to it. So like in this scene, uh, the two guys are standing there, and the soldiers, uh, the 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 non-soldier says to the soldier something like, uh, you know, I have a little military experience, and the guy goes, oh, soldier goes, oh, he goes, yeah, Call of Duty, and he just sort of laughs at him. So I, I felt like a very American kind of kind of throwaway line um and then this guy this old guy apparently has a giant basement full of i don't know troll skeletons so they they recruit him to like figure out how to kill the troll there is a trace of truth in all fairy tales i'm down with that obviously being a guy who writes about folklore uh i find this fun i'll totally watch it plus uh you get to see the troll see how big it is <laughs> it's just Stomping around here. I'll play a little bit of it. Uh, here's the helicopter. Check it out. Oh, man. He's going to pick up, I don't know, that, like, giant booth or whatever. Look at him. He's gigantic. And they're shooting missiles at him. And it doesn't work. I, I guess they have to figure out a way to make the troll come out to the sun? I'm not sure which folktale is real for the movie. Um... I think that was one of the one of the ways. Let's exterminate it before it exterminates us. Yeah, that sounds like fun. <laughs> and it's a troll. Um, in Dungeons and Dragons, they were tough to kill. <coughs> it was tough to kill a troll. Um, they weren't that big though. Not that big. So uh, first act. The local people apparently know about the troll because they have root cellars where they hide. The troll comes out of the mountain, and uh, that's what, that was the opening scene early on with the family. Here the troll coming, they get into the root cellar, and when they come out, their house is destroyed, but they're, they're safe because they went into the root cellar. So it's like they all know about the troll, and they were ready for this moment. Their house is probably super old. And uh, so, and he's like the comic relief, and... Uh, and it all, you know, they get the archaeologist, not her, her, and she's sort of the main character, and she's going to be the main protagonist in this. So when the troll starts running amok, the government doesn't know what to do, so they call her for some reason. Second act, they recruit her, oh, we've got a troll. <laughs> and and uh, half the government doesn't believe it, the other half, uh, they want to, I don't know, make politics out of it. So they go into the mountain, or, or check the mountain where he is, and they disturb him some more, and then he runs amok. There he is. He's running amok all over Norway, and eventually he heads to the city 
to smash it up. Part probably part of some legend. They talk to an old guy who is an expert, and they do the folk tale thing to to kill it. I don't know in the in uh, Metalocalypse they had to kill a troll by playing a song. And then they get about halfway through it, but they screw it up, and then the troll runs amok. Um, so I don't know. It, it could be cool. I mean, it's part Godzilla, part like monster movie, you know, part like regular monster movie, part disaster movie. See, this is more realistic than, say, like trying to make Godzilla a thing. Like, oh, Godzilla hatched uh, millions of years ago and then was frozen in a mountain. Like, yeah, back in the 60s, you could kind of sell that like it was, oh, it was a mutated Tyrannosaurus Rex. This is easier to sell because it's supernatural. It's just like, oh, yeah, there's trolls. <laughs> you just disturbed one. There's tons of them. Um, so I would be totally down for this movie. It looks fun. Uh, they're not trying to make it anything more than it is, you know, other than a big disaster movie. And in the end, they killed the troll sometime in the third act. Uh, using some clever means to, uh, I don't know, trick him into the sunlight. It's either got to be sunlight, maybe it's a song, maybe they got to get him to eat something, I don't know. Maybe they got to get him to do something. Uh, it's kind of a cool design, though. I mean, it looks like sort of a classic troll. Um, kind of made out of rock. Or maybe they just blow him up at the end. That would be kind of cool, too. So I may watch this. I mean, it's on Netflix. It's called Troll. There's been lots of troll movies. This appears to be the biggest budgeted one I've ever seen. And uh, uh, this is where trolls come from, Norway. So who to do it better than the Norwegians? And that's it for me. Tony D, little Joan asleep on the couch, catch us uh, on Odyssey, Bit Shoot, and Rumble for our more base takes. I will be at the author's picnic on Saturday at the Moorestown uh, Library, and we'll see you tomorrow.